okay. Good morning, YouTube. Yeah, this morning, thanks for joining me on this morning's walk. We're gonna go up Eagles Bush Valley today. This is sorry, about six minutes walk from from our house. I did set the. As you can probably see my GPS was playing up this morning. I was. Um, Obviously set it as soon as I leave. And it wasn't, it was working, but the, it wasn't clocking the distance. So that's not good. Not too far. Yes, yeah, so it's been a hot minute since we've been up here. And there's a waterfall. And the last time I came up, it's been, I don't know, three weeks, I wanna say. There wasn't even a waterfall. The river was so dried up. Yeah, there was nothing there to show you, so yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that, mind. But we have had quite a bit of rain over the last couple of days or weeks, and I can hear the river flowing. The river is actually, it's quite far down, it's not a big river, it's quite far down there, you know. Someone's got the canoe ready, luck. Like. Now we do have to be careful here because it is actually a road. I think there's there is a little car park up here and there's a couple of houses up here as well. So I've got to be careful. I'll be listening if there's any cars coming. I know the Royal Mail van when he comes up and down here. Yeah? He does not hang around, let me tell you. Oh, did Rossi do some business there? I think he did. Right, in a bit. Oh, let's say hello to Rossi. Come here, boy. Here, say hello. There he is, full of beans as per usual. Yeah, it's just, I'm not sure the distance this road goes up. But basically it is a dead end. It goes as far as the two houses at the top. And then it stops. And that's some artwork randomly sprayed on the tree there. And we have got a little bit of a waterfall. You can probably hear that. Now in the winter, this is absolutely gushing down with this. Yeah, it's just really nice. You can actually go out, walk out there. We'll have a look now, actually. Right, careful. I probably think Rossi's going to fall or something when he comes down here. This is some kind of memorial. The silent thought, the silent year keeps memory ever dear. And there's some here as well. Yeah, we really like it up here. Rossi likes it wherever we go, let's be honest. There are quite a few benches if we get tired on the way up. There's one there. Now the one that's here, yeah, I think it's this one. Normally, I think the impression I get is that a youngster either died up here, like teenager looks like, or he loves coming up here, you know, and this is his favorite place. So this bench, yeah, normally it's jam packed with flowers. And one day there was a photograph. Oh, so there's another one here. So this is very well loved person passed away here. Yeah, so again, I don't know his age. That's the, yeah, he's a youngster, isn't he? Loving memory. Yeah, some days you've got stuff there as well, look, on the bank. Yeah, some days you come up here and it's full, you know. So it's 
Again, I don't know the story of it. Actually, has it got a date? No, I'm reading the bench. Let's look at the bench. David, 1999 to 2018. Ride in paradise until we meet again. David Robert. Probert, sorry. David Probert. Rest in peace, David. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's, that's him, you know. So I do like in our local park as well as a lot of these benches where you know families uh the loved one has passed away they love going up the park clearly that person loved coming up here bike enthusiast as well so i obviously had a loving family and they're remembering you know and paying their respects it's quite it's quite nice rather than maybe he was cremated not everybody can afford to have someone buried now like when my father passed away, we um, was cremated and we scattered his ashes in a couple of locations that we know he loved, you know? So maybe it's the same kind of thing going on there. They've gone the extra mile and had the bench as a little memorial. I really like, really like that. Right, this is the little car park. It is a bit of a dumping ground sometimes. Like literally come up here and there'd be like loads of black bags someone's come up and dumped it but i think i've seen signs saying there's cctv now this we might go this way on the way back across there that bridge so there's one house up there so we'll go across and up or if we go across there and down there, there's a little country lane it's not far some really smart houses along the way well, actually, the, the average houses, I just love where they are. You can imagine living up here, like, with from a dog's point of view. I would love it. I like where I live anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll go up that way on the way back. Another thing I want to show you, this is the dog, I'm not sure it's called. It's like a dog kennels, I want to say. Sometimes you come up and you can hear all the dogs barking. They're obviously still early. It's uh, the kennels, rather. Oh, it's not even seven o'clock in the morning. But yeah, that's where the, the dogs and fair play to all the people that volunteer. I've always assumed they're volunteers. There's different people coming and going. All the time up there. Yeah, fair play. If you've got the time to do that. Love it. Oh, you'll never end up in a car kennel, Rossi. There he is. Start of the show. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're still following this road up. Let's see. We've gone up there once. So you can go down, it's only a small, it's more of a stream now. So you can cross there and it's quite steep, but there's a path there. We might see it later on. Um, it just goes to the back of like, um, it's a private uh, farm field, I think, or the back of someone's massive garden. Yeah, so there wasn't much exciting up there, to be honest. But we haven't actually got much further. We come into the end to a little bridge to cross. And then there's the two houses. Now, as much as I'd love to live up here for the dogs, these houses, it's like, I don't know if I'd like these houses. They're too overgrown. It's like, it's like this. Imagine just putting a house there or a house up there, you know? You'll see now in a sec. You know, yes, it'll be nice and peaceful. There's the last little bridge that we cross. Got a nice little bit you can play with down there. I have seen dogs enjoying it. But Rossi's not really into his going in and having a swim. It's not his scene. Max, on the other hand, he would. So maybe we'll come up there over the weekend because I'm looking after my mum's dog, Max. I think tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, maybe we'll check this walk out. 
thing with Max, we can't actually do my normal walk where we go across the canal because he's got a few suffers with like anxiety and stuff like that and there's the bridge that goes over the railway any steps they've got like the slats do you know what i mean so it's not just normal steps you can see through he's petrified of them so he will not he wouldn't even let me carry him up up there you know so <laughs> those walks are uh, at the bounds when we've got max you can just about see the houses now i can see the cars and you can't actually see the house show you now the first time i came up here i wasn't sure where rossi's standing i wasn't sure if you're actually allowed it kind of goes into someone's driveway but no there's a footpath just to the left which sometimes in the year is a bit of a stream there's one path that goes up there we come around the back of the house as we go up this it's quite a steep path as well it's so overgrown it gives you the impression it's night time coming up here we've got these two houses here look yeah, it's a bit random so this is the path we're gonna go up very rocky yeah sometimes it's there's literally water flowing down the middle of it so we have to be extra careful Rossi's waiting as a good boy yeah it's one of those ones you've got to be it's probably more dangerous when we come back down definitely in the winter with our little stream because these rocks are so slippery you know if you haven't got decent uh, walking footwear on now i came up here once with my mother and geez i don't know what she was wearing looked like a pair of slippers and she was slipping and sliding and again so frustrating i buy her i bought her really good hiking boots before right so we're now at if you can really see that we're now at the the roof level you can see the chimney just through there look yes yeah, so we've walked up a little bit we'll, uh, we'll keep on going there we go We're at the top now just come up from that path there that's the other house that like i said you could see uh, there is a bit of a fork in the road now but Rossi's wondering which way uh, it's probably 50-50 which way we go that way boy we're probably there's a bit of a loop we can do now so down there around this massive field kind of on the outskirts of a, the housing in the state the top of the hill and then it's back down and back home so it's not the biggest walk again we used to do this I'm going to say four or five times a week at one point. But you've got to be careful down here because this goes into that river. Um, it opens up into a bit more of a river. You can cross it. It's not really deep. Oh, we'll have a look now. But the last time we were up here, yeah, so there's a lot of mud, like a load of mud. That's not, doesn't really bother me. You've got to be careful though. Uh, it's only happened once to be fair all the cows there's cows in this next field they were all by the river and i think thinking about it the last time we were up here was when we had that uh mini heat wave so they were obviously it was early in the morning they were obviously getting out to the heat out of the sun being by the the river to cool down there's a river there and there was about 30 cows so with rossi we just turned around and went back around the other way. We can wait in. Oh boy, that'd be a nice photo there, wouldn't it? He's very good with photos. Good boy. Right, I can't actually see the cows. Now they're normally up on there. So we keep a safe distance. I'll 
keep an eye. I'm sure Rossi was good, but he might want to chase them to play with them or something and cause unnecessary stress to the cows. So that's the last thing we want to do. So relaxing up here though. Again, we're not far from where I live. You don't see a lot of people up here, which I don't mind. More peaceful for us. Yeah, around here you can get really muddy. You know, like if you get loads of rain for a full week or something, like you can see here, see the farmer's tracks in the mud. Yeah, we're not going to be walking through that. Yeah, but this is where all the cows were, where we're standing now. There was loads of them. So I thought, this is kind of their house, not mine. Leave them to it. We did actually try walking round up there. But I could see the herd of cows just moving and starting to get stressed. So we just went, no, let's leave them alone. Let's go back. Right, let's see. Well, he's not fussed on the, the cross in the river. But... I can see the mud here, look. Oh, it is pretty low, mine. It's not the lowest I've ever seen it. Right, we call it swimming. He's not swimming. Can I swim in? I think because my mother calls swimming to my mother's dog, he thinks he's swimming. It's just become, that's what we call it for our dog, so you know. Come on. Let's cross. Let's see you. You cross in? Come on in. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Did you cross? I saw you. I saw you. I had a lovely shot up here once. Of him crossing. I put the camera on slow motion. And <laughs> it was like sipping off black booty, wasn't it, boy? Right, let's go back then. Good boy. Yeah, I'm waiting. Always waiting. Doesn't want to miss out, does he? I got the bay watch music in my head now. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Oh, the karaoke dog vlog with bonus karaoke. <laughs> yes, that was a little swimming session. Oh, look at that. Spot the collie. Yes, we're talking about you. Right, in a bit. Okay, so we're back on the incline now. It is quite steep here. Another quiet little track. This just loops around. And if you keep going, it comes back to where I, we were about 10 minutes ago. It does go, it's a bit of a housing estate just up there. I think this is the first time I've ever been happy though. And there's no horses. There's only two lovely horses in this field. I don't know where they've gone. Hope they're okay. Or are they lying down somewhere and I can't see them maybe? No, no, they're not in there. They do come over and say hello. So that gives me the impression that People do come up here and, and feed them. That's, they want food, don't they? Let's be honest. And Rossi just stands there. He's not a face. He's not barking. Aggressive. He was a, at first. The closer he got, I don't think he realised how big the horses are. Yeah, but he was okay. Oh, there's the horses. I don't think they're actually the same. The same ones as normal. Leave them alone. Was he coming over? Let's go and have a little look. See, Rossi's fine. Just, uh, just stay back here. This one looks a bit younger. I'm not sure. Not really a horse guy, but while he's coming over, you can see in the in the distance that Morris. Then you can see there that building. You can just about see is the famous DVLA building. Oh, look at this one. Oh, he's got loads of flies on him. Poor thing. Should we say hello? Hello. Come to say hello. I haven't got anything for you. 
if I know when I brought a carrot up. Hello. You okay? How friendly are you? Oh, bless you with all the flies. Let's get them off you. They'll only go back on though, won't they? Oh. That must be so frustrating. Poor thing. Oh, we've got someone else coming over now. Oh. <laughs> Rossi's like, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, say hello. You can say hello. The horses, luck. The horses. I'll be rude now, and if I just walk off. I haven't got anything for you, sorry. Oh, he's a stunning one, isn't he? They're both lovely. Gosh. He's got a few flies on him as well. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Ooh. <laughs> oh, aren't you too lovely? Oh, look at that. You too. Oh, I could have got Ross. He'd sit in front. That would have been uh, the money shot. Oh, he's having a drink. Right. See you later. Oh, I feel sad now. Well, he seemed disappointed. I didn't have any food, the bigger one. But there was drink there for them, so it wasn't a wasted journey, you know. Right. In a bit. Right. I was going to go and show you there's another little field just literally around the corner. But there's another dog going up there. Um, Alsatian or something, he looked like an older dog. And he was going nuts. Barking, barking at, well, me and Rossi. And the owner didn't seem that friendly either. So we, it's lovely in the winter if you get up early enough. Well, actually, you don't have to get up. Like, what is it? It's now 7.30 in the morning now. But yeah, you can go up and you can catch a lovely sunrise. Yeah, it's just, just a little path there. Only a little field. It's just up there. And we are now top of the hill. You can see quite a good view. Uh, over there, that's the... Behind those houses there is the Knoll Park. Yeah, very nice. You know, you're going to see for, see for miles, but we're going to go down this way. Sometimes we walk through the estate, but obviously Rossi will have to go back on his lead. To be fair, he hasn't been on his lead once today. No, oh, he's going. He's never gone up there before. Yeah, it's just downhill now, all the way home. Happy days. This is quite steep. Again, back when I was training, I used to, when I'm on a walk, I used to just try to run up this last bit. And at first, I really couldn't do it. Like, I'd get a little bit further, like this lamppost here. Remember, I'd run to that lamppost and think, right, next time, like talking the next day, I'll try to ride, like, run a foot, you know, a bit further. And then as the weight started to come off, well, those were the days, uh, obviously you're carrying less weight when you're, you're not lugging it all up these hills yeah I got right to the top really good satisfying feeling you know there is a little bit where Rossi was just standing then god we haven't been up there but a year is that like a path that goes along there like you can see Rossi's waiting no not today there, I can see a path it basically comes back out joins a little bit further down that estate that we were just up, you know. Yeah, it's lovely up here. It's lovely fields. We've never been in that field before. But yeah, it's really, really nice. But this field here is the field that we were, were crossing the bottom. That's where the cows normally are. I have absolutely no idea where they've gone. Yeah, that's a better view of that field there. You see the woods, the big trees in the distance. Yeah, it's lovely up here. Absolutely stunning. 
and it's not actually a particularly nice day. It looks like it could start to rain any minute. We went for a run yesterday morning. Lovely. Only did five kilometers. Or five and a half actually. So my finish line is always that uh, bridge that we cross uh, the railway bridge I was talking about earlier on. So I always like sprint up that and the finish line's the top of the bridge. You know, like going up the stairs, Rocky style. That's exactly how I was uh, like in my head anyway. <laughs> yeah, get to the top there and that's the finish line. And just from nowhere, there wasn't any darker clouds. It absolutely tipped down. So, and we were, yeah, half a kilometre from a house. So, instead of walking, we just, you know, I slowed it right down. Steady jogged home, you know. But yeah, it's very similar weather today. It doesn't look like it's going to rain. But based on the day before yesterday, oh, sorry, yesterday, based on yesterday, it could rain any minute. Right, I'll keep the camera on to show you. We're nearly back that corner of that field. RC approves. Marking his territory. Yes, yes. I'm coming. Oh, so much easier walking downhill. <laughs> oh, old, give me a break. I'm an old man. Yeah, no sign of cows. We did see horses and hear all the birds. Can't identify any of them, mind. Very basic knowledge when it comes to the wildlife, especially with the birds. So, yeah, look, Rossi's saying that that's the path we came up. And when I turn round right here, do you remember this? So, yeah, we went that way. Said we go all the way around and back down here. And Rossi knows the way. Show me. Goodbye. Back down here. There we go. We just come down that uh, steep path. I didn't want to get the camera out on that path because you got to concentrate because there's a lot of trip hazards. One little trip coming down there and you will go absolutely flying. Right, this way. Right, I didn't show you this on the way up. It's really nice down here. This is probably the best relaxing bench you'll find uh, on that this path. Someone's left some litter there, thanks mate. Yeah, so it joins on by... Do you have a drink? No? <laughs> yeah, so it's just a little... Joins on with a little river. So I wanted to show you. Come on in. He's never bothered here. Now, if I'm up here tomorrow with Max, yeah, he'll be in there. He loves going in the water. What a difference. Rossi's never... I don't think he's ever been in there. No matter how thirsty he gets, he just doesn't like it for some reason. Okay. So, on our way back, this is the car park we passed. It is actually a car park. And then you get about six, seven cars in there. But we're going to go across the bridge now. So we came up this way. As you can see, Rossi's waiting that way. He's a good listener. <laughs> now this path comes out right on my brother's street. So yeah, I won't show you where my brother lives exactly. Probably wouldn't appreciate that. But it's a lovely change of uh, scenery for us, me and Rossi, you know. On this house here, there's obviously there's one up there. And this, this one here is for sale, look. I'm not so fast on the house, but I am location and the land it got would be absolutely perfect for us. Up to my budget, unfortunately. Mind you, not that I checked. It would be a bit of a ball like coming up and down here on my motorbike every day. It's not the nicest path, you know. But yeah, I'll have a little sneaky look. Yeah, I really like the look of this. Nice little bit of garden, that'd be ideal for me. We don't want nothing too big. It's nice and relaxing. Well, the only sounds you can hear at this neck of the woods is the birds and the wildlife, you know? 
We're not too far up to vet up here. I'm not sure if anyone's actually in there. Looks like the windows, there's no curtains in there or anything like that. So, any millionaires out there? A spare couple of hundred thousand? And buy me a house? <laughs> Come over and play Street Fighter any day of the week, I don't mind. Right then, as you can see, we're back in civilization. Coming to the end of that road now, I suppose. It was a path I turned into know concrete or tarmac road whatever and this is the street my brother lives on so let's make sure Rossi crosses nice and safe you doing listening oh, I can look it. right wait wait this road can get really busy cross <laughs> And there's a load of them. So as I have a car, they're not into my cars. Don't know what the hell they are. Oh, we'll have a look. There's another one up there. A Morris car. I think it's something to do with this garage here. Yeah, it does the map. This one looks probably in the best condition. But they're not, uh, not exactly new cars, are they? Look at that. Yeah, they don't make cars like look at the mirrors on the front look lovely yeah so this is my brother's street um this will probably be the last bit we'll film i think but i just wanted to show you so you carry on going up this street and then it's a left and there's the vets unfortunately we're not registered with that vet um but we are with a good vet then it's like literally Probably a couple of hundred meters away from where we're standing is my mum's house. And you can kind of see where my house is. So I said we're all close, uh, very close net. We're not from the area, mind. But let's have a look, let's get my bearings. Uh, yeah, you can see, almost see, can you see? just there, that row of houses. That's where I live, so it's not far at all. So we're gonna walk down these last bit of steps now with this good boy, he's been very good today. You know, we're talking about him. <laughs> yeah, so that was our dog vlog for today. Hope you had a good day, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. I think that's the rules, isn't it? Uh, please consider subscribing. So you don't miss more of this amazing content. Yeah, I'll cut it off there. Love you. Bye.